Hi, welcome to part 5 of the Octane tutorial series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create realistic fire explosion simulations. I'll use Turbulence FD to create the simulation and render it inside of Octane. So without further ado, let's get started. Open Cinema 4D. Go to Simulate menu. Then Particles and click on the emitter. I am going to rotate our emitter on the x-axis by 90 degrees. Go to Emitter Properties. Change the X and Y size to 35 cm. Change this emitter type from Pyramid to Cone. Go to Particles tab. And increase Birth Rate Editor and Renderer to 2000. Change Stop Emission Value to 10 frames. Also, the Lifetime to 10 frames. Put 50% variation in both lifetime and speed. Right click on the emitter and put a Turbulence FD emitter tag to it. Go to Emitter Tag. Now, I'll animate this radius value for our fire expansion. So, go to frame 5 and change the radius to 6. Add a keyframe and move to frame 10. Again change the radius to 1, and add a keyframe. Go to Force tab. And change the velocity weight to 1. This will make our fire to move along with particles. Come down to the Channels tab. Put 2 to Fuel and 3 to Burn. I experimented a lot to get this value. Now, add a Turbulence FD container. Go to Containers tab. And change the grid size to 400 by 400 by 400. Also, increase the voxel size to 3 for faster simulation. Now, move our container up. So, it sits just below our emitter like this. Let's move on to Simulations tab. Go to Timing and decrease the time scale to 70%. Come to Wind Properties and put 2 to the last field. And put 10 to Wind Speed. Change Vorticity to 20. And set the Intensity Channel from None to Density. Set Turbulence to 15. Change this largest scale to 8. Move to temperature channel. And increase buoyancy to 80%. Also, increase the cooling to 14%. Enable Density Channel, and leave all these properties as it is. Go to Fuel and enable it. Change Fuel Diffusion Value to 1 and Burn Rate to 2. Here, set Expansion to 1, Temperature Expansion to 3 and Density Expansion to 2. Now, Enable Burn, and change Burn Diffusion to 
go to Viewport Preview tab, and set this channel from temperature to density. Rendering is also the most important property. Go to this tab. In the Smoke Shader, change Mapping Channel to Density. Here, set the smoke color to gray. And increase the thickness to 20%. Go to Illumination, set it to Accuracy for better and accurate smoke. Come down to Fire Shader. Set Low Temperature to 500, High Temperature to 2000, White Point to 2.3, and Dumping to 5.2. I have done a lot of experiment to get these values for our explosion. So, just follow me. And then you can experiment yourself to make changes. So, let's do a simulation test. This looks good. But if we render you see only smoke. This is because fire has cooled down earlier before coming to this frame. So, let's change the cooling value to 5, and give it a test. Now, we can see the fire. So, change the cooling to 10%, and simulate it. Also, I'm going to bring Magic Preview to make change live while changing values. So, change these value on your likeness. I'll decrease the voxel size to 1 and simulate it again. This is quite awesome. Now, let's add an Octane object tag to out turbulence FD container. Open Octane Live Viewer. I'm going to quickly add an Octane environment object with an image texture for our lighting. Now, we have a good render. So let's change some settings. Come down here, and click on this Volume Medium option. Increase this density value to add more density to fire. Decrease volume step length to add more smoke density to it. Click on Emission down here, and go to the Volume Gradient. Here, we can customize fire shader as our need. I'm going to change it like this. So, put these same values in the color shader channel, as I did to get this result. Now, go to texture emission option. Here, we can control the brightness with this power value. After that, increase the sampling to reduce noise and fireflies. So, that's all for now. In the next video, I'll show how to create a full nature scene in Octane. I hope you liked this video enough to subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting regularly. Give it a like and comment down to give your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Bye.